All right, let's go. Time to get going with this stream. How y'all doing today? Hope everybody's just uh, having a great day so far today. It's morning over here where I'm at, but I know for a lot of y'all it's already the afternoon or evening, so appreciate y'all joining in. Thanks a lot for being here. We're going to try a little bit different format today. So what we did last time, we're going to try something a little different. We're going to do the, uh, the new Hyperdrive account first. We're just going to jump right in there on, um, on the newest account. We're going to do that Grand Arena. And uh, you guys can ask questions and we'll chat or whatever. And then we'll do the little intermission that we normally do at the start. Talk about some account reviews, maybe, whatever whatever comes up. Then we'll do the Loquitur account, another interactive session, and then we'll do the main account. So we'll put the, the smallest account up front today. We're not going to talk too much about it. Uh, I'd literally bought the Hyperdrive bundle and had it for one day when we came in here and uh, joined for Grand Arena. So <laughs> this is uh, its definitely not going to be that impressive of a, of a thing to watch. But uh, we could talk through it, especially for newer players, people just starting out. You can kind of see how this works out. I'm playing against another player who um, hasn't invested at all in fleets. And, uh, yeah, so it's non-hyperdrive player, but, but the fleets are just sad. So we've got a huge advantage in fleets. <laughs> Maybe we'll be able to hold fleets. And then we have a big disadvantage in characters. He's got all kinds of stuff that he's built up uh, in the account. Again, with non-hyperdrive, you can definitely... Um, honestly, guys, if you, if you build your account to 85... A hyperdrive account like mine should never be able to beat you. You should always be so far ahead, it's not even funny. Alright, so it looks like an auto deploy. 73,000 there, 55 over here. We'll start here, work with our first order, see if we can get them to work our way through here. Then for the next Grand Arena, I expect that we will actually have some kind of uh, uh, teams that we can mount an offense and, <laughs> you know, actually act like we're playing Grand Arena. So let's see. Who do we want to take in here? Needs to be a decent team, so let's take Mon Mothman in. All right. Probably Anakin's the threat. There he comes. Uh, we'll just do the single attack. Got him out of here. So, mostly when you're at this low of a level, if you just, like, run and hyperdrive stuff that... My guys literally have no mods. It just It's awful. So uh, when you're running these kinds of things, it's more about once you pick a target, just stick to that target and finish it than, uh, let's say, some science about picking exactly the right target and whatever. So you just pick the biggest damage threat first and just keep, keep on it till you finish. Dooku is... Uh, the threat now that Anakin's gone, Dooku is the biggest damage threat here. I was gonna kill Quill, but he's actually pretty tanky. This player has invested quite a bit into Quill apparently. Which is weird because I didn't see a big tie bomber, which you should have if you're farming Quill. Okay. Wow. Look at our damage, guys. We've, we've got some serious damage on this team. 
This is uh, we're we're gonna tickle these guys to death sometime soon here. I swear. Okay, Biggs, come on. Biggs is kind of the only damage dealer that we. Oh, Mon Mothma. She can still be targeted. I don't have any Zetas on her, so. They got my Mon Mothma. All right, let's uh. Try to get Kara Dune out of here now. We're running low on dudes. Now we're really running low on dudes. And without Mon Mothma, we got no res. Okay. Just cheer it left. All right. Cheer it. You got to take out Bastille all by yourself. Just put it in auto. Catch up on the chat over here. All right, people saying hello there. <laughs> Inquisitors, L Quisitors, L Inquisitors. Hey, Eric Cartman says, "Hey, cannot watch live usually because of time. Great to catch the live. Hey, no problem. I, I stream this time on every Saturday. I didn't you know you started a third account. What are you planning on farming?" Oh, look at that. We got victory. Nice. Um, it's it's going to be kind of a senator path. We're going to do some early game stuff. Then we're going to go into Geos. Then we're going to build a clone trooper team. And uh, try to make the account really nice for guilds where, where we'll have Watt ready Geos and... We'll take the clones straight up for the cam mission and see if that can't get us, you know, a really top-notch guild pretty early in the game. Uh, what what do I want to take in here? We've still got Jedi and Phoenix, so we'll take that against his auto-deploy. Do we have any more Sith? I don't think we have any more Sith. We'll just do this. Get in there in the back wall. Nihilus is a ridiculous character really early on. The Annihilate is really something pretty special. For a lot of the missions where you've got this like one tough boss at the end, uh, you just take in a team, you you beat the first two waves slowly, let Nihilus build up to Annihilate. You get to the final battle. You just use the Annihilate from Nihilus. Kill everything. Kill the main boss, anyway. Once the main boss is dead, then, then like the little robot things die in some of those missions. So that's all you got to do is just wind him up. Get the Annihilate. Good to go. Um, all right. Get out of here. All right. 64 banners. Nihilus leadership is also interesting early game like this because it converts your protection into health. And if you can keep your characters at full health, then you get banners both for health and protection that way. And you get a ton of health steal. So it's kind of a cheesy little way to, to try to get better banners in Grand Arena. So let's see. We've got Phoenix still. We've got clones still. We've got... Do we have the Jedi? I don't know. I think we put the Jedi on defense. All right. Well, let's take in the clone team first. See if we can kill somebody. And then we'll bring in the Phoenix and try to actually win it. Let's see. Who do we have here that can just go in for some damage? Yeah, we get Stormtrooper Han. He'll just, he looks like a, a clone, kind of. DL, choose your teams wisely. I threw away my GAC when I chose the wrong team. 
Yeah, we've done that before. <laughs> picked the wrong character or picked the wrong team. That's happened to me. I'll try not to do it today. All right, Cody throwing in a big bomb. This Vader's actually looking like he's got a lot of stuff. Let's get the Merciless Massacre out of him here. I don't think he's got it zated anyway, so. Oh, he does. Yikes. All right, well. <laughs> that Vader's thick. Yeah, it's it's an auto deploy. I I don't know that I'll be able to beat it, but it's all right. It's all good. We got the bottom zone. Uh, we need Sabine. Where's Sabine? There she is. Get in there. This would be easier if they would just stop taking turns. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get let's get Sidious out of here. Oof. Okay, hair is down. We can't even kill Sidious. Look at this. Thick boy back there. If he'd actually deployed and all of these characters were distributed among their respective teams, this GAC would obviously be a lot harder. Uh, guys, we just got plus one banner, right? One banner for every character defeated. So that right there, one extra banner that we just got. All right. Well, let's take Sabine. Oh, Vader's going crazy again. See ya. See ya, Rebels. All right, well, two zone clear. <laughs> that wraps it up for this GAC. Don't get to see ships. That's all right, though. All right, yeah. So, well, let's let's just take a, a a real quick look at the collection here. So, what we've got coming along, we're building this Kylo Ren. He's kind of gotten our good gear so far. Get him to gear ten. It's pretty slow with just you know the hyperdrive and nothing in the account. Uh, Vader's coming along nicely with the hyperdrive bundle, and then you get a bunch of uh, quest completions. So he's He's quite high level, or, you know, almost uh, seven stars. Uh, we got Mace Windu almost to seven. We did get the Akbar to seven. Uh, we got some extra shards for him from the fleet events and then purchasing him out of the store. Got to get a character to seven stars as fast as you can so you can join in on event on the raids. So we've got him, and now we've got fives too. That allows us to join the higher level raids, which is obviously important. You want to get in there. Um, so this this is what's getting my attention. Biggs Dark Lighter, Kylo Ren and Mast, Fives, Akbar, Windu. We're bringing up the Geos. Now, something that I did not expect with the Hyperdrive bundle. Um, you can't level your guys up at first like you want to. Not because of currency or any other reason, but because of these training droids. Um, I have zero training droids, nothing. So, yeah, that that's come as a bit of a surprise. I don't remember that being an issue. But, uh, but I started these geos, and then, I mean, there's just no training droids to get them going. Of course, as we farm up, the, we'll get plenty of training droids, and eventually that's never a problem for you anymore, but... Uh, but yeah, it's a it's a limiting factor right here at the start of the hyperdrive, so it's something that we will have to pay attention to. So yeah, we'll get we'll get that going. Um, 
We do need to play another fleet combat on this to try to get better fleet placement for the day. Let's see what we can do over here in Fleet Arena. Uh, this looks easy to beat. Is Windu for the ship? Yeah, Windu is for the ship. We're going to be building Home 1 as a ship, and we're going to be building Endurance as a ship in this particular account. Um, Tarkin is really good, but I'm, I'm trying something a little different this time. And, and I mean, you'll I'll still be able to access Tarkin, so even if it doesn't work out like I plan, I can quickly just pivot to Tarkin and not be any worse for the wear. Worst case scenario, I'll have a Mace Windu that I didn't really want. Well, I've got to do Mace Windu, no matter what, because I'm going to build Malevolence first. I need the Negotiator if I do the Gas event. So we've got to build the Endurance up to 7 stars no matter what. That's kind of non-optional. All right, so let's see. Is there anybody in the top four in Fleet that I could beat still? Well, this guy's got a Hound's Tooth. Hound's Tooth. So <clears throat> I don't think I can get any better than fourth place right now. So we're going to hang up that account for the day. close that instance of blue stacks to try to reduce the chance that my computer is going to crash. <laughs> Been having some problems with that. All right. <clears throat> my dad became a Patreon. Oh, that's awesome. Well, thank you. Appreciate that. When I began a year ago, I started and deleted seven accounts until I find the DL starter guides. And now I'm just cruising. Thanks, DL. Hey, appreciate that, Jeremy. Glad I could help. Neat trick with the Darth Nihilus lead. Yeah, that's cool. Yep. It, it only works against teams with really low damage where you can keep your health up, but it's pretty pretty neat. What are your plans after you get gas, JMK? We're, we're going to go um, Geos. We'll start the clones. We'll get a really good guild. We'll get those Watt Tambor shards rolling in. We'll finish out the gas journey. Upgrade our guild again if we need to, and uh, go into that JMK build. So it'll be a very light side focused account. Griff would approve. Griff is our uh, uh, light side expert, so he'll uh, he'll approve of that account build, I'm sure. And then maybe look at something like Sith Eternal into the Executor, something like that. Long term goals. We got time. Plenty of time. Still taking bets on when the first relic's going to come. I've got some people that think I can do the first relic in five weeks, so I'm going to try to get I'm going to try to get my first relic character on the hyperdrive account within five weeks. That's going to be interesting. See if we can relic that Kylo Ren mask like instantly. Kylo Ren unmasked. Are you going to do your other account GAC or have you done it already? Yeah, no, we're going we're gonna, to, I just smashed through that little one. Uh, we're going to do some account reviews and chat with the chat, answer any questions you guys have. And then we're going to do the Loquitor account. And then we'll do the same thing again, chat a little bit, and then we'll do the main account. I've noticed that theoretical max shop banners have increased. Six stars used to be 68. I've been getting 70 and 71 due to the seven points you get from defeating their ships, even if they don't play seven. Yeah, I, that's my understanding now. If you don't put in all the reinforcements, um, if you play and lose a fleet battle, let's say your opponent puts in a ship that could have four reinforcements, but they only actually put one reinforcement into the fleet. When you... Even if you lose the battle, you will still get three banners as if you had defeated those ships. That's my understanding. Is that, is that what you guys are seeing too? <laughs> David Baker says five weeks was my guess. If you focus on one guy, you could. Well, I'm going to focus on Kylo Ren unmasked. We're going to try to take his ship up to relic level right away. We'll try to relic the Geo Spy right behind him, get that 
geo team ready for Wat Tambor mission. And then we'll start relicking the, the clone troopers after that. Um, that'll give us some time. Fives is, man, guys, Fives is such a greedy character. Like, for, for being one of the older characters, the amount of Carbantes and stun guns that that dude needs, stun cuffs, just bleh. <laughs> he's, he's rough to build. But uh, he, he can be our third relic target if things stay on track, and then we'll go from there with the clones. All right. I lost a match by two banners because I didn't do full reinforce on the fleet. Man, that, that stinks, David Baker. I'm sorry to hear that, man. But, uh, but, yeah, I think that's the way it works. So just keep your eye out for that. All right. Let's try a fleet battle over here. Let's see. These uh, executor versus executor matches are pretty random. Pretty random stuff. You never know. what. It's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. All right. Let's target the Mandalorian. Try to kill him. Take a hit there, trade back and forth. We'll go right away with a big hit. All right, we got him. And you, you kind of feel like the game is already over. <laughs> so at this point, really all we have to do is bring in the Ebon Hawk and not let them get to their alt. And we can almost put this thing on auto now. <laughs> Fives and General Kenobi are the uh, uh, Republic Carbanti thieves. <laughs> That's funny. I use Ebon Hawk for the Executor Mirror matches. Works 98% of the time. In these high-level matches, there's a sequence of events, and I don't... I, 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 I have a hard time tracking exactly how it happens. But if I go first, they go second, and somehow they get the, the, um, the contract off almost instantly, and their Razor Crest takes two turns almost back-to-back, -back, and I lose every time. Um, and it, but it doesn't matter about the Ebon Hawk reinforcement because you just lose your, you, you lose your own Razor Crest instantly, and they have, like... The, the completion on this feat. So I don't know the exact sequence of events, <clears throat> and I've been trying to like study it and understand exactly what's happening. But it's like I go first, and then I just instantly lose. So still trying to work out how that happens. Dengar loves the Carbantes too. <laughs> Blessed Carrot's in the house. All right, got rid of that capital ship. <clears throat> I compensated GAC against compensated GAC against Shock T clones with two plus fifteen mods. Not really compensation. <laughs> hey, but you'll keep those mods forever, right? That's good. All right, guys. Well, what do you think about doing a quick account review? Let's see if we can find an account that's active to take a look at and uh, scope out some other people's stuff. Let's see. Sequoia with Boba's Booty Hunters. Not Inquisitor Sequoia, unfortunately. We've got 1.4 in ships and 2 million in uh, characters. Hey, Griff's in the house. I'm happy to hear you're going to get gas soon so you can finally see how fun the team is. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm working toward gas on my main account, too. In my mirrors, I modded to go second. It's a better win rate somehow. 
Zareth has a really good Executor Mirror Match video. Uh, I don't know if I've watched that. I'll have to go check that out. All right, so in terms of fleet, we've got uh, we've got Vader, we've got Houndstooth, Galactic Republic stuff in here, Bounty Hunter stuff, so we're going for Executor at some point. We've got Relic Geos. Got the pilotless ships in pretty good shape. Need some work on the BTL and the, and the Bomber. Got the Negotiator, Malevolence. No executor as of yet, but like I said, it feels to me like he's working toward that. Uh, where's the IG? There's the IG. So he's got the IG 2000 built up as well. Maybe he did all that stuff just for the Millennium Falcon. I don't know where he's using the Millennium Falcon, though. I guess he uses this Rebel fleet like as an off fleet. That's cool. That'll work. Character-wise, it's a Skywalker. We've got both Revens into Malak, General Grievous, Padme, C-3PO, Asajj Ventress at Relic for the uh, for the gas event, I guess. Got the clones up and running, full droid team. Rebel Officer Leia, Captain Han Solo, Lando. So JML, we're going for, for JML. JML, I take it. Where's Hermit Yoda? There he is. And probably a Wampa somewhere in here. There's the Wampa coming up. Okay. So a Jedi Master Luke coming up next. Around 3.5 million. He's got gas. He's got several of the meta teams. He's got Malak. He's got JMK almost in the account. Not too bad. It's pretty good, pretty good. <clears throat> For Fleet Arena, just always use Taunt skill first. If they marked your Razor Crest, heal him. If not, then put Taunt on Hound's Tooth, Max ex Mass Assist Executor on the third turn. Use the taunt skill first. If they marked your RC, then heal him. If not, then put taunt on Hound's Tooth. And use the mass assist from the executor on the third turn. Uh, okay, well, maybe I can try that. <clears throat> Andrea, Andreas Rybeck says, uh, hello from Sweden. Let's go. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice. They gave X uh, all of these locked buffs and basically said, we know that that will counter this. <laughs> so Nabokov is uh, uh, saying that the new fleet is going to be immune to target lock. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be immune to target lock. The formula for 3.5 million without a, a GL, it seems. Yep, it's pretty good. Pretty Pretty good overall. Let's take a look at the... Mods in the account. 348 on Darth Revan. That's nice. Anything over 330 is pretty good. 340 is really good. 321 on Jedi Knight Revan. That's pretty fast for a Jedi Knight Revan. We've got 318 on Bosk. Health mod. Protection on the triangle. 17 speed down here. 25 speed, that's good. 20 there. All right, so the Bosk is pretty fast. Grief Karga also. If he's got a Zam Wassel in this account, 317 on Grief Karga. So does he have the Omicron on Zam? That's the question. Because this Bounty Hunter team, oh no, not yet. This Bounty Hunter team would be a lot more scary in Grand Arena if you had that, the Bounty Hunters that fast, and also, you know, Zam will sell speeding them up. That would be, 
That would be fantastic. Uh, let's see. 313 on Rex. Lots of characters over 300 speed, guys. This is this is nice. Obviously, he has a strategy for modding 309 on Luke. That's pretty good. Crit damage, protection. Got a little tenacity thrown in here. Offense on the arrow. So he's over 300 speed. He has a speed set, but offense on the arrow with 14 speed on the substat. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. I like that modding. That's that's good modding for for CLS to help him be a counter for gas and things like that. Nice. 308 on Bastila Sean Fallen. Tons of potency. 111% uh, potency. That's good. Good stuff. Man, how many 300 speed characters do we have in this account? 302? We're still going. We're still going. We're still over 300 speed. Padme does not have a speed set 281. All right. That's pretty good, though. What, seven, eight characters? Nice. Eight characters over 300 speed, and none of them are Galactic Legends. Cool. Good stuff. Hey, DL, I don't know if the new fleet will have the ability, but the new meta light side counter will. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think I honestly think they have to do some light side uh, fleet to to balance things out. All right, so let's see what uh, if there was any comments over here. I do have Emphis Nest also in the account? Man, this this guy has got to be scary in Grand Arena, right? Let's look at his skill rating. Can we see a person's overall rating from here? Skill rating. Bronzium 1. But we can't see where that is in terms of the leaderboard, right? I imagine he's got to be doing well. He's, he's got to be somewhere high up. Uh, let's see, how do we check this? We go to the Lokwater account and see if we can see Sequoia somewhere in the, uh, in the Grand Arena. Leaderboards. We're just going to take a quick check and see if he's up here. Are you live? Or? Yes, I'm live. Okay. What do you need, sweetie? Oh, okay. Going somewhere fun? If you consider the eye doctor fun. All right. <laughs> See you, sweetheart. Hey, there's Inquisitor Chagrin. I don't see him up here. Yeah. Kind of thought we would see him up somewhere in the top ten. That's, that's a pretty good account. So what would we do next in terms of a journey, uh, I mean, obviously fi finish out that Jedi Master Luke journey. And then I think from there, I, I like I like a sea journey for this account. Get the Sith Eternal, because that'll get you a trooper team. It'll get you closer to the Executor if you want that. Or you could go with the executor first and then into the into the C build. But I, I like the C build into into executor for this account. Okay. We don't have Beskar Armor Mandalorian yet, so yeah, I think C would give you time to. To build up the Beskar Armor Mandalorian and get that going. All right. <laughs> Frick Fact Paddywhack says, Got to be a Mothma led rebel fleet with a Nebulon B frigate. 
<laughs> and then the A wing. You just need an A wing. That's all you need. All right. All right, guys. Let's uh, let's think about getting into this Darth Lokewood or Grand Arena then. I think we have one more fleet battle that we need to play over here. Try to get fleet placement for the day. I think we still got time to do that. We've got our first executor over here, so um, I'm playing for second place these days. <laughs> no longer playing for first place anymore. Um, at least for a while. I tried my own malevolence against it. I think until I get my hyena bomber built up, uh, I don't have much of a chance. I tried both the malevolence and negotiator. I came close to came close to beating him a few times, but uh, just not there yet. Okay. Do 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 do. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do the mass assist anyway. Get the days on to Anakin. That would be good. All right. And then we can bring in... Let's just bring in the spy and try to kill this hound's tooth right away. Well, we still got the days on Anakin. And then we can pop his unending loyalty. Figure out some way to get this uh, tank out of the way. Oh, we still got him taunted from, <laughs> from the spy, so that's over. That's over. Put this on auto. Probably shouldn't put it on auto. Better play just a little more so that the it doesn't get away from me. Uh, let's see. Let's let's do this. Mass assist on Vader. Get him out of here. All right, back in business. Lol's in the house. What up, Lokewitter? Just getting ready to do some Grand Arena. That should get us number two fleet placement over here. I want to go back and try that. Uh, well, nah. We're just going to get into Grand Arena. Let's, uh... We've got a lot of energy on this account. I guess I didn't bleed off my energy. Let's get this out of here. Let's get that out of here. Let's, uh... Farm some of this. Get some shock prods. All right, good to go. Grand Arena. Current round. Let's look at the last round. I think we already saw how this ended. Our opponent had already played. We cut it down to a one zone uh, fight. We put C here, uh, put stuff here that he could beat, and then put a fleet down that we thought was going to hold. Um, pay attention to this setup because that's exactly what we're going for again um, with this next battle, uh, we, we ended up doing the same thing for the same reason. So let me get my bearings here. Uh, 3.1 million, 1.2 and 2 in characters. In terms of the fleet, he's got Galactic Republic all going. He's got a rebel fleet going. He's got Geos. But if you look at his capital ships, he's got four capital ships, hasn't really invested a lot in any of the admirals for his capital ships. 
and it looks like he's actually running the Galactic Republic sometimes under Home 1. I imagine for the GAC, the Galactic Republic will be under endurance, but when I look at his fleets, if I put the Negotiator on defense, I don't think he can beat it. Character-wise, two Revens, Relic 3 Malak, Commander Luke Skywalker, Vader, JK, A. There's a Padme somewhere in here. Um, so if he decided to put a lot of defense down, like if he puts his CLS team down and his Darth Revan team down, even if I took C on offense, uh, I'm not going to get through it. So we're doing the same thing we did last time. We're going to cut it down to a two-zone battle because I think my C will hold. I don't think he can beat my Sith Eternal. I don't think he can beat my fleets. So I think this becomes a one-zone clear for him. And uh, hopefully a two-zone clear for me. <laughs> it's um, not an exciting way to win, the, win a Grand Arena, but uh, against guys like this, uh, I, I just my troopers aren't good enough to beat this team. The only thing I really have to beat this team is the Sith Eternal. And uh, I'd really rather put it on defense and cut the whole zones down. So that's what we did. And we put the... Bounty Hunters in here with them. And then up top we played that Grievous team. And this time I did something different. I put my Emphis Nest over here with a whole bunch of Scoundrels. The Vandor Chewbacca's in there just to complicate things. But um, I did this because in and amongst his teams, he doesn't have a lot of good answers for this nest. So... Just trying to be a little bit tricky there and see. I mean, he's going to beat it, but at least make him work for it, right? <laughs> make him work for it. All right. <clears throat> let's see. Let's catch up on chat. Theresius is here. Hey, Darth Loquiter. Hey, hey, Theresius. How you doing, man? Griff says Mara is amazing. We got a Mara fan club starting over here. <laughs> I, I've used her a bunch, but she kind of sits there, and uh, I mean, you've seen it. Either she gets killed, or everything's dead before I get to use her. So, my experience with Mara has been that she's kind of in the background. Maybe I just don't have her fast enough. Maybe she needs to go faster or something. I don't know. Still lacking my experience. Nabokov says, what do you get for doing well in squad arena right now? Um, I mean, you get more squad arena tokens to buy more stuff. That's what you get. And they did put some gear in the shop. Loquiter, I have around 2.4k crystals and almost stay around that amount. I'm farming Kylo Ren on mass with free energy and doing three refreshes for signal uh, data. Do you think that it's a good idea? Um, yeah, I mean, if you can afford the refreshes for signal data, just refresh that all the time. You know, it, the Locator account can't afford three refreshes on its uh, cantina every day, but the main account can. The difference between bronzium crystals and kyber crystals is enough that, you know, on the main account, I can afford three refreshes every day. And uh, if you've got the crystal income to do it and your uh, amount of crystals is stable, um, getting ahead on signal data is always good. Then later, if you need to farm a character out of Cantina, you can always, you know, farm that and not have to worry so much about getting behind on your signal data. How fast do you have her? I don't know. She's only like gear eight, so it's not very fast. It's pretty slow still. I find Mara's passive makes Vader feel like he's powerful again. <laughs> I don't know. I would never felt like Vader wasn't powerful. I've always had uses for Vader. We've always been able to do something with him. All right, so he did place the CLS team on defense. We've got the Old Republic here. This Old Republic is actually a problem for me on this account. I don't have very much good stuff that deals with that. We've got clones, and in the clone team, we've got a 214-speed Rex. So we can trooper this, if nothing else. 
Uh, we can't nest the geos because um, we left nest on on defense. So we may have to Vader the geos and. Man, I'm tempted to bring in my clone troopers against his clone troopers and just let that fly. Because I, I think I can get the sacrifice and, and take these guys out in a clone versus clone matchup. Save some of my other good teams for other stuff. We do have Padme, though. I mean, we could just take Padme in there and wreck that team. we got the Geos on offense. Geos can beat that. Maybe we take Geos against the Old Republic. Maybe that's a better play. We could do... We could do Padme against... Let me think, let me think about this. So if we do Padme against the clones, or do we do Padme against the Geos? Hmm. The Geos are kind of annoying because I actually have to use something decent to beat them. Yeah, maybe we just... So, so let's use Padme and Geos. Maybe I just use my own Geos against his Geos and use Padme up here. Let's do the Geo on Geo battle. We should win that one, right? Should be no problem for us. Because we're fast. All right, let's get over here. Get on in here on this Geo Brute. All right, now we can execute him. That seems good. Now we just got to time out our Brute Alpha to maximize our banners. Okay. Let's see. We probably got to kill this brute if we want to max our banners. All right, get him out of here. Now we have to make this last until we get back around to brute. I don't know if that's going to happen, though. Yeah, maybe I should have just healed right there. We can do this. Nah, it's not enough. 70 banners. 70 banners. I should have healed. I should have healed there. Dang it. All right, and then we'll just do Padme here. And we'll do Padme minus one. We don't need a fifth. I feel like. This is fine. Get in there and blast some clones into the next century. <laughs> Geo mirrors are always a pain in my experience. Yeah, it's not that bad. Use of your spy. That's that's the key. Clever use of the spy. All right, let's get this fives out of here. Uh, let's get shocked he's stunned. Or dead. There goes fives. Got some courage stacks up. Get Rex out of here before he can get his uh, Rexalate ability off. Okay. 
protect our banners here. Should be good. 63. It's all right. Let's look at the back. Why would you not put Darth Revan on defense, guys? A couple Zetas. Look at this. A three Zeta Phoenix team on the back wall. Yikes. Um, taking troopers here. What do you think of troopers here, guys? Troopers or Vader? I feel like troopers are probably better. This may be a cleanup situation too, because <laughs> this team can be nasty. Not fantastic mods, but uh, all the same, it can be a pretty nasty team. That's an overinvestment in Phoenix, says Griff. <laughs> Probably going for the Hera Omicron. If her Zeta is viable, she has the Omicron. <clears throat> yeah, let's go take a look at that. Maybe she does have the Omicron. To be honest, I'm not even that familiar with what the Omicron does. So <laughs> we'll, have to, we'll have to take a look at that. All right. Um, we'll do the mass assist on Chupio to get a kill and get the turn meter train going, but I, I feel like Whoever gets stunned here, ooh, Stark, Stark out. 3PO and Chewie is protected. All right, let's just go take the armor off of Chewbacca. Let's just single hit him. All right, got a kill. Now let's go back here on 3PO and Chewie. Drain turn meter, get some assists over here. Finish him off. Ew! Oh! Uh, ouch. Zero. All right, let's get Dazes on for real now. There we go. That might help for a turn or two. Let's relink. Although, linking doesn't matter right now, right? Because we're all confused. Once we're confused, we're pretty much out of luck with the assists. Oh, no, no. We have to have two stacks before we miss the assists. Okay, so we can still assist. All right, the troopers pull it out, guys. 55 banners. Ugly, 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 ugly. Ugly, ugly. Omicron is test for relic abilities, basically. Ah, uh, replacement for relic abilities. Yeah. I think the idea that they were going to do that, as the, the time for that has come and gone, so I, I don't see that, uh, I don't see that they're going to do that ever. Let's fill this up to make Vader fast. Just try to crush these guys before they get a chance to go. Zalbar is going to be tanky. We have to force crush her because she might just die from it. Okay. Ain't no party like an overkill party. <clears throat> when all the troopers fail, long live Piet. <laughs> Long live Piet. Get him, Piet. All right, let's see. Let's just do the basics on everybody. Do that. Do that. Do this. That gives us another Force Crush. Call. Get him out of here. Kick the Candorous. Ready, Ike? Kick the Candorous. Don't kick the Candorous. 
All right, what are we going to do back here? We still got the Phoenix. I feel like being disrespectful and being like, you know what? That's enough for Phoenix. We'll put in we'll put in Revan. What do you think of that, guys? I've got like all kinds of teams that can beat this. Mon Mothma is probably the best bet because they'll actually um, they'll get good banners. Each Phoenix ally, blah blah blah. 20% turn meter, doubled. There's no Omicron there yet. Dooku can solo. Uh, with them being gear 10 and 11 and having Zetas... Their ability to recover health and protection is going to be quite high. So, Dooku will probably survive, but I don't think he'll have enough damage. Alright, let's just go in there and mess around with a few Jedi. Alright, get in there. Let's see what you got, Yoda. Oh, <laughs> nice. That VC is nice. All right, let's get Ezra over here. Yoda? Yoda got dazed. That ain't right. It ain't right. Yoda is dazed for days. All right. Come on. Get him out of there. Um, jump. Big hit. <laughs> Was that 152,000? <000? laughs> oh, 152,000 on a Phoenix. That, uh, that Qui-Gon Jinn, though. All right, so he's got uh, Geofleet. Up and running under Chimera. I think my Geo Fleet under General Grievous might look a little better than his. A little bit. Um. What else do we want to bring in here? More damage, buff removal. They're not going to... Well, Spy might be in stealth. That might be a way for me to kill Spy if I need to. Uh, maybe I swap these out for now. and do it like this. Almost got the fifth star in my hyena bomber, boys. We're getting close. We're getting close. We almost got the fifth star. I'm behind on that ship. All right, I think this is good. I think this is good. <laughs> 152K, says Mata McCurry. Yeah, nice. Okay. Let's just do this. Get him under... Oh, we didn't get Spy under stealth. Let's kill him then. We didn't kill him. We failed to kill the spy. All right, match is over, guys. We didn't kill the spy. Retire and go home. Just kidding. Okay, let's see. Who do we want? Um, let's do this, like just like we talked about. Bring this in, clear the debuffs. Call the spy... No, oh, come on. That's got to be worth a kill. It was clever. It was tactical. Darth Vader coming in. Okay. Just basic. Oh, uh, yeah. Just finish him off. 
All right, let's put Spy under stealth because that's fun. 70 banners on fleet. This guy had a good enough account. He really could have put down some some good defenses. I, man, I, I would have put that Darth Revan on defense. I really would put that. Dar I, CLS up here, perfect. Good play. Darth Revan down here on the bottom, good play. That would have locked me out of two zones because I could have beat the CLS. Couldn't have beat the Darth Revan. Or maybe we could have, you know, just chewed through it one team at a time, get one or two characters dead with Vader, work our way up to it. What? Do, how do we kill Malak? Um, I guess we would have to save Thrawn for the very end and use Thrawn to try to control Malak and kill him. So Vader would have to be our last team that we used against that. Yeah, maybe clones, see if we could get the tenacity up going early enough. Yeah, I, I don't think there's any way I could beat a, his Revan team with the Malak. I, I think I just, I think that team stands on defense. You got to put down enough defense, guys, and remember, full clears don't matter anymore. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You just got to get the win. <laughs> Empire is not a Sith team. <laughs> EP lead is Sith based, but you do not have the viability without the Empire. <laughs> getting work done. <laughs> Cypress is getting work done. I use Qui Gon Jim to wipe a discount Padme squad. Yeah, Qui Gon on offense is, is really good. The AI is not good about sorting out the right targets and. Qui-Gon is good about killing a lot of stuff. He's pretty good on defense, too, as long as you put JKA with him and an all-Galactic Republic uh, defense, then, you know, even if the opponent beats it, 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 takes, it takes a good team to beat it. JKA blew them up after they killed Qui-Gon Jinn, of course. Nice. <laughs> Nabokov fan, I've been placing Zeta Maul lead on defense recently. Uh, the Zeta Maul, uh, 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 the old Darth Maul, or the new Maul? <laughs> Jedi, you have JKR versus DR, Empire versus Phoenix, Rebels, Maul versus Qui-Gon Jinn. Placebo fans in the house? Uh, Pizza says the old Maul. Man, I like the old Maul with Zeta. Uh, that, that... It, it surprises people. It steals a bunch of banners. So for anybody who doesn't know what we're talking about there, uh, the Maul for, or the uh, Zeta for the old Darth Maul, it gives 20% speed at the start of combat. Sith allies gain one turn on evade, can't be critically hit, and gain all of these at the start of each encounter. So this 20% turn meter happens at the start of the encounter. And you make a couple of these guys pretty fast, and then the opponent comes in not expecting or not understanding how these characters work. And uh, like you put a really fast uh, Darth Sidious. I don't know if my Sidious is still as fast as he used to be, but uh, I had his speed cranked up pretty good. 267. Now I used to have it like 290. So it's like 290 speed, but then, you know, he gets another 58 at the start of the combat and ends up going at like 350 speed. Does this skill, steals a bunch of banners, and then you lose. That's okay. It's still, it's still fun for stealing banners. Two rounds ago, my Qui-Gon with Cam got four holds. My opponent ended up having to use his SLC, SLKR to solo. <laughs> yeah, uh, Cam is crazy with Qui-Gon on defense. Yeah, it's nuts. Hey, look, what I heard you're building Geos on your Hyperdrive account. My guild is looking for more Watt Shards, and we would love to have you in our guild. Uh, please consider. Uh, I joined another little guild, um, another offer from a, another Inquisitor. 
So I'm going to be in that guild for just a little while and just to stabilize and get started and, and help them out a little bit or let them help me out. I don't know which way you'd, you'd look at that. But, uh, but yeah, we're gonna, I'm going to hang out in that guild for a little while. And then as my geos get to the point where they're watt ready, I may look for another guild at that point. So, But then I want to apply for guilds without... Uh, you know, without without getting it based on name recognition, so that's that's the challenge. We gotta we gotta see how how good of a guild we could land without people knowing who we are. That's <laughs> that's the big thing. Someone traded DR for my mall last round. <laughs> that's a good trade. Yes, it is. That's a fantastic trade. Hey DL, how are you doing? I'm in a rhodium one with 11 and 0 record. Thanks to all my mall mandos with watt in the back zone only one person has beat it so far and it was with jmk mall mandos with watt so what are you <clears throat> what what all are you using for your mandalorians i still have to work on my 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 mall he's a little guy still so what are you using you using like mall uh beskar bokatan django armorer I imagine that's the team you're using, and then you put Watt Tambor in there. Or are you using something like... Is Gar Saxon considered a tank? Yeah, he's considered a tank. So you can use Gar Saxon with Watt, and Watt will probably use the ability on him first and give him the tank tech. Maul, bo Bando, Candorous, and Watt. Okay, so you're using Candorous, Watt, Bokatan, Beskar. Interesting. So have have you watched the autoplay? What what does Watt do first? I'm very very curious to, to know if you if you know what Watt does first. Cause uh I, I feel like he he does some random stuff, but then in some teams he very predictably does the same thing every time. Like if you put him in with a a decent tank, he'll like always put the tank tech on the tank first. Uh, like putting it in a grievous team, he'll always um, put the tank tech on the uh, the magna guard right away. I just saw that someone used C to nuke my mandos my my mall squad. <laughs> nice. Watt is a dummy. He puts random tech on a random guy since there's no tank. Watt first turn doesn't matter. It gives Maul frenzy. It gives Maul frenzy and Maul goes crazy. Watt the first turn doesn't matter. So Watt gives Maul frenzy? Anguish stacks. Okay. At the start of the battle, gains Mandalore. <clears throat> All of this stuff. Stacks of Anguish. Maul starts with frenzy, and the tank tech being or the watt tech being passed out right away triggers the frenzy. Oh, I got gotcha. you, I got gotcha, you, I got gotcha, you, I got gotcha. you. So it, it's that he starts out with the buff to go. I got gotcha. you, I got gotcha you now. So he starts out with the frenzy buff on. So whenever somebody does a special ability, he gets a turn. So watt gets a turn, and that triggers him, and he gets to go. I got gotcha you now. That's that's awesome. That's very cool. A good use of Watt. Uh oh, what just happened? Okay, well, I'm glad we got that out of the way before we started a grand arena. <laughs> What's the best Sith Empire team lineup before you get Malak? Um, the best? I would say Bastila Sean Fallen, of course. Um, HK. Sith Empire Trooper, 
and probably the Marauder. Probably Marauder and play some Malak until you get Malak. And then uh, HK is better, and then late game the Marauder is better in place of HK. I think that's like the current thought process or what other people have agreed to. All right, what do we think about another account real quick? We'll go into the main Grand Arena after that. Take a quick look at another account. All right, 3.3 million. What's up, boss? Says Bats. Says, hey, Bats. Nice to see you in here, man. Hey, before we do this, let's let's remind everybody about this uh, competition that we got going on, right? Let's uh, let's do that. So, for anybody who's not uh, already heard, we're going to be doing a little. Comp uh, what happened? Everything's messed up. We're going to be doing a little contest. So, in January, we're trying to get to 4K subscribers. At the end of the month, assuming we get to 4K, we'll do two drawings for $25. It's open for anybody. Hit us up over on Discord. There's a, a channel for the giveaway. Just go in the giveaway and sign up for it. The giveaway won't be up until the 15th of January. The longest we can run it for is 14 days. So, like, the 17th of January, we'll put it up. So, uh, once that's up, anybody can join. The March challenge, we're going to try to get to 5K by the end of March and do three more drawings. If we get all the way to 6K, we're going to do 10 drawings. I'm also trying to up our community pride a little bit. And guys, I got to tell you, we, we did this Rites of Passage um, channel where people could change their name in-game to Inquisitor. And... Uh, uh, Basically, if you're willing to change your name to Inquisitor in-game and you win any of these prizes, I'm going to double it so you'll get a $50 card instead of a $25 card. And uh, I expected, you know, maybe a few people would change their name. But, man, the amount of people that, that uh, put Inquisitor in their name is, is awesome. It, it just, it, 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 was, it was really cool to see how many people did it. And, uh, you know, some people I saw were like, hey, I never knew you were in my guild. And so, uh, you know, recognize some other people that were in their guild. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but if you try that, just be aware the Inquisitor name isn't available. So what I recommend doing is use a lowercase l. Obviously, don't use a capital L because Linquisitor looks silly, but uh, use the small l. And it looks just like Inquisitor, and it's not reserved. So just the very first letter of Inquisitor, make it a small L, and you'll be fine. So we got Inquisitors in the game now. And like I said, post that in the Rites of Passage, and then you'll double your winnings. And, uh, you know, if we hit that 6K subscriber goal by the end of March and everybody's an Inquisitor, I could be out 500 bucks for this giveaway. But uh, So it's quite a lot, but, uh, you know, you guys just you cost me money. Do it. Get in it. Get in there. Get that. Get that done and uh, break the bank. I'd love to see it. All right. What's your record on your main since the GAC change? Uh, what are we nine and one? I think there's been ten rounds, right? We're nine and one. One loss so far. <clears throat> Check my recent 5v5 history since I started doing Zeta Mall in defense and getting some holds. Nice. Uh, let's see. Hi, Darth Lokwitter. I don't know how you get the gear for gear 13 incredibly fast. Do you finish first in Sith Raid or something? Actually, Nathan, I rarely even participate in the Sith Raid. If you want to know how I do the Relic stuff, I have a video that's it's literally called How to Gear 13 in Relic. And I just go through how I farm and how I gather the relic materials. And I also did a week, I think around like week 46 or 48 or something on the Loquitor account, where I show you literally like every single thing that I farm and buy for the entire week. You can, you can watch the whole, uh, everything. You can watch everything. So if, if you watch that video, you'll see where I'm buying the gear and how I'm getting it. And if you look at the Gear 13 and Relic video, 
uh, it'll help you understand how to do the normal farms you normally do anyway and qualify for uh, a bunch of relic stuff and all that. So there's some information out there that'll help you understand how I do it. All right. TK says he's 10 and 1. He lost his current match. Oh, man. That's too bad, TK. All right. Let's take a look at, uh, at this. I think Jiren Kenor is a generic name, right? That's an assigned name. So 1.1 1. 1 Galactic. I'm sorry. One po about about 1.2 million in ships. 2.1 2 in characters. Interesting. Uh, ships. Some Galactic Republic stuff up here. We do have a Millennium Falcon. Vader ship. Guys, man, I don't know how many times I'm going to have to say this. If you start a ship, finish it. Don't leave your TIE Advanced at five stars. Don't leave your Anakin's ETA at five stars. I know these ships, like the Anakin ship, just takes forever to farm. But don't stop. Finish your ships. If you start them, finish them, especially if you're going to have relic characters in there. If you're going to make a relic Millennium Falcon, get your bounty hunters finished. Get your Millennium Falcon finished. Finish out these ships. Because this gives just a ton of galactic power that's partially effective, right? And we don't want partially effective galactic power. We want, we want these ships hitting as hard as they can hit. So that's my first advice. Got the negotiator at six stars, getting there. I imagine he's probably going to take that to seven stars before he builds malevolence. Opportunity here with geos. If this person's high enough in Grand Arena that they need four fleets, those geos could be improved a little bit to help stabilize all your fleets. All right. Sith Emperor account over here. Got Darth Revan. Genonite Revan, Malak at R7. Nice. Whenever I see a Malak that's like R2 or R3, I always feel like, you know, if you have Malak, why don't you have like a Relic 5 or a Relic 7 Malak? <laughs> it just seems to me like if you're going to get a character that good, uh, take him all away. So we've got the Sea Journey stuff in here. We've got Chewbacca. It's interesting. I don't see, like, the... Okay, maybe he's going to Relic Han. CLS is coming up. I guess he's working on the CLS team next. He's got Padme over here. He's got Magna Guard. Relict. A bunch of the Grievous stuff is Relict. Is he going for gas? Is this going to be a gas build? I see all the Grievous stuff. I see all the Galactic Republic stuff. C-3PO is five stars. So maybe he's going for gas next. Could be interesting. Yeah. Feels like that's the route. He's a gassy account. Pizza crust says JMK. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, J okay, Django Fett's in here. Maybe you're right. Maybe it is going toward JMK. Yeah, okay. Maybe JMK does make more sense. Now that you say that, because we've got the Django Fett, we've got the, the Grievous, the Magna Guard. Okay. Or maybe both, maybe gas and JMK. Check out the mods. 332. It's pretty good. It's okay. 329 on Piet. It's all right. 321. So he doesn't have any like 350 speed characters, but he's got a bunch of these guys that are up around 320. 306 on Stark. All right, so we, we've got pretty good mods. The modding looks to be okay. 297 on Thrawn. Let's take a look at what he's got on C. Speed set with health. 
That's cool. You can live with that. Offense. Yeah, he's just putting the he's putting on whatever mods he has for the speed. We have an opportunity here with this to to do better, of course, with speed, but he's got the health there. Okay. So not much to say about modding. Honestly, not much to say about the character build either, because it's a good build. He's been efficient with his galactic power. He's got C. Going into JMK. And uh yeah, so it's it's a good path, and then probably from JMK get gas. So it looks like a clear path, a clear plan. The character side looks good. The ships are a hot mess. So the biggest advice I would give to this player, finish out your geos, get this fleet up and running. It's it's a fleet for free. You know, finish your ships. All these ships that you got at five stars, get them to seven. All right, guys, I got some bad news for you. Um, it's not that bad of news. It's just that I'm really going to need to take a, a very quick, like, one-minute break before we go into the Grand Arena here on the Allura account. So I'm going to put you guys on intermission with, uh, with, the, with the clock screen just for, for a, a quick minute. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Phew. All right. Got to get my bearings here again for a second, folks. All right. Catch up on chat over here. See if I missed anything. I feel like I have serious trouble with slicing materials. You can use six mod refreshes on materials and only slice like two mats a day from blue to purple. Yeah, it's so, so TK, I I mean I that, that's that's how I feel about it like slicing materials. I I would rather farm a heck of a lot more mods and and only slice the ones that really deserve to be sliced. But when you get to that point where you need the slicing materials, you just, you got to farm them. You, you got to. Um, TK, I don't know if you've ever used uh, the Google Play system and got rewards points. But you can trade in the rewards points for large galactic 
um, upgrade kits, and they have a ton of the the lowest level slicing materials in them, like a bunch of stuff for the gray slice. So if you ever have Google Play points or something like that, um, redeeming them does help with your slicing on the bottom end at least. It's a little bit of stuff. All right. Adam says, hey, DL, do you still do mod scores? I was wondering how mine stands up uh, to that and what the score is based on. So I haven't been doing mod scores. Um, the, the mod scores aren't that easy to interpret. So I've just more been looking at the top end speed of the account and just saying whether or not we're satisfied with where the account's at. If you join my Discord, you can go into the, to, to the bot channel and you can run the mod score on your account yourself. Uh, it's not hard to do. And if you're three or better with a low, let's say you're three million galactic power or less, if you've got a mod score of three, that's good enough. Basically what it does is it takes the amount of mods that you have with a speed over 15 it relates that to your galactic power, and, and that contributes to your score. Then it looks at the high end, at mods that you have over 20 speed, uh, and gives you a little more credit there. And then mods that are truly fast, like 25, 26, 27, 28, they, you get even more uh, score for those. And um, so if you're a high end account, like 6 million galactic power, you want to have a score of like 4 or 5 at least. Um, would be good. <clears throat> so that that's a bit how it works. But the numbers aren't intuitive. It's hard to say to somebody, oh, look, you've got a 2.8. You're at a million galactic power with a 2.8 mod score. That's pretty good. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't seem, it doesn't feel very good to have a mod score of 2.8. So uh, I, I don't know how much that was adding to the account reviews. But you can run it for yourself for sure. Hey, Blessed Carrot says, uh, gave me a super chat. Thanks, man. Really appreciate that. Just to wish you a good GAC. Ah, thanks, Blessed Carrot. I really appreciate that, man. All right. How do you, how do you or chat Mod Malik? I have tenacity on him now, 165%. I've seen him typically modded for tenacity and speed, um, I've I've seen a lot of fast Maliks. Get him around to as many life drain turns as you can. So tenacity mods with a bunch of speed or speed and tenacity where your speed mods have good tenacity subs. That's what I would say. Fast and tenacious, that's what I see. Griff says full defense stats, protection primaries everywhere. I run mine on defense, though, for solos and such. Tenacity is the key. Make sure your tenacity mods have a tenacity substat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, TK, that's that's true of all tenacity mods. My Malik had an insane speed set. It was fun. Bats says, mine is as fast as with as much health as and protection as possible. He's 305 speed. Okay, nice. Missingno says, I have a 198 tenacity, 294 speed Malik. Wow, 302 speed and 180 tenacity. Okay, yeah, nice. Bat says, I use it to solo full relic Padme teams. Yeah, I don't, I don't usually put Padme on defense anymore unless I put Cat with her because, yeah, the, the, the Malik is just, it's uh, too easy to steal those banners from my Padme team. Had to quit giving those away for free. <laughs> Malik is 203% says placebo fan. All right. Well, let's get into this main account grand arena then, boys. Take a look at the last round. We had a win versus P Jedi. I kind of want to show this because it, it is interesting. I put the, you know, some teams that I think they're not let's say Galactic Legend teams, but these are all teams where you have to work to beat them. And uh, I'm hoping to pull good teams. 
And you see that I got a hold on the the unmasked team. I got a hold with the Fin Fin Po and uh, a second hold with the Fin Fin Po and he never came back for a third. And then a hold here. So that's one, two, three, four holds that I got uh, with my front wall. And I ran him out of enough good teams that, uh, that, that he gave up at that point. Um, if you find yourself in that situation, it really, you need to come over here and, and fight this side. Uh, he ran into that Zam team, same thing, uh, dropped a battle against the Zam team. So um, my, my, my good non-GL defenses held up very well in that, uh, in that matchup. Pretty happy with that. So we got a rock in general here with the Fadakin Commandos. 7.2 million galactic power, boys. We're fighting up by almost a million this time. <laughs> I think I'm at 6.3, so we're about 900,000 difference. About 3 million in ships, 4.2 in characters. Got... Uh, Empire stuff, Galactic Republic stuff, pretty much all the stuff you would expect. We get down here to the bottom. We're looking at capital ships. Got Malevolence, got Negotiator, Finalizers ready to go, Endurance, Chimera, Executrix. No Executor, but he's got uh, six capital ships that are up and running. And he's got, I mean, his ships are all developed. Right, he's only got a few scraps here at the bottom, but pretty much everything has stars and levels and relic characters in them, so he can field up to six fleets. But no executor, so I do have an advantage there. Two Galactic Legends, SLKR and Sith Eternal. Um, I, I felt like he's got to be close on a third Galactic Legend here with all these relic characters, but... Uh, didn't see a third Galactic Legend somewhere down underneath. We do have Commander Ahsoka Tano. We've got General Kenobi at Relic 8. It feels to me like he's going for uh, JMK as his next um, GL. We do have Grandmaster Yoda at Relic 8 as well. The Jango Fett, all that stuff from that journey. We've got clones all relic up, including uh, the Cody is done to Relic 7. I... I the requirement for JMK, I don't think, is Relic 7 on Cody, but uh, went crazy with him. Got a Wampa in here. Other than that, it's it's pretty standard stuff, really. Night Sisters. Got some Night Sister stuff. But uh, I did not see the the the. GL Kenobi done, so. What that means for defense, I'm getting very predictable in my defenses, guys, so we're doing the same kinds of things over and over, but I feel like it's okay, because even if the opponent knows what we're putting down, even if they have the advantage of knowing what the defense is going to look like, it doesn't, uh, doesn't help. Put the executor and the negotiator down here. Put a bunch of these good teams up here up front again. I gave away my Qui-Gon team. We got the Fin Fin Po with the veterans. We've got the other off resistance here and that crew team. And then we've got good stuff on the back wall. So even if he makes it through the front, he's got the back wall to deal with. So this defense, basically, the, the reason why I've been playing this defense, and I feel like it's good for this level against a lot of the accounts that I'm facing. Um, most people are going to try to clear this zone first. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get a hold on these two back walls, right? This zone, I don't care. I'm just putting teams here to try to cost you banners. This Zam team, you know, maybe something that you have to think about. So I'm just trying to cost you banners with that. I don't care. You're going to you're going to beat that. But most people will come over here and work on this first. So, I want the opponent to come work through this, use up some of their good teams, and then have to decide between the back wall with some other good teams 
and the front wall with the banner stealing teams what they're going to go after and hopefully get this two zone hold. Um, if one, if they, you know, two shot my executor, I still got a chance to hold this other back zone. So that's a little bit the, the strategy. We're just trying to weed out good teams with the front and make them too weak to beat the back. All right, so what did he put down on defense? We've got Shock T and the Bad Batch. Okay, we've got Geos with a bunch of relics. We've got Old Republic. And then we've got Bounty Hunters with no Zam. No Zam. No, no speed up from Zam here. Okay, this we know what to do. Let's look at the other front wall. Relic Night Sisters. That can be kind of scary. Here's that banner stealing team we just talked about, guys, with the fast Sidious and the Zeta Maul. That's pretty fast. 245 plus 90 be what? No, 245 plus 50. Be right at 300. We'll probably just take in some off team and work through that. Grievous team. And then here's a Phasma team with no Hux. So maybe we use JTR here, make good use of our JTR. We can, we can do Padme and Bad Batch against this too. We've beat that a couple times now with that. But maybe we want to use them somewhere else this time. Maybe here. I don't know. Night Sisters, I might Vader. Where does that put me for Geos? Treya? Put Treya in over here. See, Vader cleans up these Geos so nice, though. That's a high banner win. And I've got two Galactic Legends left. So let's do this one first. I mean, we know what we're going to do here, right? This isn't even a question. We just bring in the Kylo Man. There's nothing here to give us any surprises. Let's see if we can get a 79 banner win. We can get a 79 banner win. That would be fantastic. Zeta or Omicron on Phasma. It won't matter for us here, right? Because the Phasma is a territory war thing. All right, 13 is the magic number. Get me to 13 stacks of... 13 stacks. 9, 10, 7. See, if they could have got me to 13, Zalbar would be done. 13 is the magic number, guys. They're not doing it. Look at this. 9, 10, 11. 11 is all they can get. Okay, he's done. Not good. Not good performance on their part. Can't even get me to 13 stacks. 10, 11. 11's all we got. Blinded. I can't see anything. That means I can miss everyone. Fantastic. Okay, get over here. I'll just keep using this third skill. Try to get us that 79 banner win. Yeah. Okay. 79 banners. Look at that. Beautiful. I can trooper this bounty hunter team. But... Do we want to give away our troopers for that bounty hunter team? Maybe this is what we bring in. Maybe this is what we do with 
Jedi Training Ray. Yeah, let's do Jedi Training Ray against the Bounty Hunters. That should work. That's good. We'll get that uh, taken care of. Should be good. Okay. So we've had some success then just hand-waving boss, keeping his turn meter down. Then we uh, got to kill the Mandalorian before he gets a chance to get a contract and go crazy on people. Keep picking away at him. Uh, the stick is too much. We're going to save the stick for later. Uh, let's just try a stun. Get an expose if we can. We got one. He's out. All right. We can hand wave again on Bosk now. Uh, let's see. Embo. Let's get Embo out of here next. Do this hand wave on Bosk again. Take away turn meter. Just basically don't let Bosk play until we're ready for it. All right. We'll give him the stick. Hey. That was completely unimpressive. The stick did like nothing. That stick is supposed to kill everything. All right, let's bring R2-D2 in as an assist this time. Get that stun on Embo. Got to get back around to the hand wave here pretty soon. You can have all of the foresight that you want, Embo. You're stunned. That doesn't help you. All right, now Bosk is stunned. Give him the stick. And wave Bosk again. Just never going to let this guy take a turn. Bring in the robot. Okay, now you got to kill Bosk. Second instance of Illuminated Destiny in the same combat. That's fantastic. Give him the stick. <laughs> yeah! He got sticked. Uh, let's do that. Try to get some banners back. 61. It's okay. It's all good in the hood. Uh, I think we go ahead and Treya these Geos. Just because I've got Galactic Legends still in the tank... And if there's anything hard on the back wall or unexpected, I mean, I'll, I'll still have plenty of stuff to beat it. There's a bug where you have the Zeta, but not the Omicron. It doesn't show the Zeta. If you apply the Omicron, then it shows the Zeta. And of course, there's no way yet to show both if they have both. Bam. Bam. All right. And now we just wait. We wait for the Geos to kill themselves. I guess if we wanted to be a little more banner efficient, what we could have done is bring in Treya just with Enfys Nest and just do Treya Nest. Um, let's scoop him up for now. Held by hatred. All right, we should be in good shape now. Get some cooldown increases on these guys so that you can't summon back a new brute. Um, get back some protection. Doesn't help too much. 64 banners. Good enough is good enough. All right. Uh, now, Shock T. Uh, maybe a Mon Mothma team. Maybe our little Mon Mothma team on this. 
and try to rely on our tenacity to is well wait uh is echo's stuff okay dispel all buffs inflict days and healing immunity but it doesn't say It says all the way down here can't be evaded or resisted. Does that mean that all of this stuff also can't be evaded or resisted? Those buffs just automatically go on, huh? So it doesn't help that much to have them on Mothma team. What about CLS? CLS would just wreck that, right? Get Vader, Chupio. What kills Bad Batch, guys? What's what's a really good counter for Bad Batch? What have you guys seen? I mean, CLS is just going to walk through that, right? Maybe we do Bounty Hunters instead. Although, I put my good Bounty Hunters on defense. And I've just got, like... Scrap bounty hunters on on offense. I could do my own bad batch. I don't know why I'm conserving teams. I mean, there's nothing that up top that's really that hard. The days and healing immunity can't be evaded or resisted. Okay. It can be removed, though. Let's look up top again just for a second because uh, I want to see if there's something where CLS would really make a lot of sense. So we got Rev in here. We've got potentially Vader here or something. Uh, gave away some of the stuff that we could have used to beat this team. That's interesting. Yeah, we may actually... This team may be more of a problem for us now. Maybe we'll use troopers here. Might use troopers here, because this guy can get out of control if you don't bring in enough damage. So we got troopers, we got... Or, I mean, I mean, ultimately, we still got two Galactic Legends left. We still got CNS LKR. All right, so... I kind of want to experiment with it. That's my dilemma. I, I, I want to... I want to experiment with it. But I don't want to drop the battle. <laughs> yeah. We could do Qui-Gon. No, Qui-Gon's on defense. Never mind. It's low, bad batch. Just need to go first and good single hits. Troopers kill bad batch. Geos kill bad batch. Speed to take out Echo first. Anything faster with a turn meter train. All right, guys. Well, here's what we're going to do then. We're gonna we're gonna try the clones. We're gonna try the clones. Clones versus clones. Superiority contest. Just for fun. Just as a as a means of experimenting. We'll probably get hit with that debuff and then we'll use Rex to clean everything up. Sacrifice right away. Okay. Good. And then let's take out Echo. Get rid of these buffs. Power up. 
Swap over. Shakti replaces some protection. Probably should be killing these guys back here first because they're the damage dealers, right? Yeah, they're under stealth now, so it doesn't even matter. Bam! All right, let's see. Who's the best here? Let's go over here to get maximum amount of turns. Okay. Should have aerial advantage coming up pretty soon. Two turns still. All right, let's give Rex some health and protection back. Shock T is just like, I dodge everything. You got nothing that can hit me. I'll just dodge everything. Okay. Smack. His Shock T is better than mine, that's for sure. Uh, does this clear buffs? Dispel all debuffs. So let's bring him around. Let's do this again. That is a lot of dodges. That is really a lot of dodges. Okay, we'll just finish this off. Let's be done with that. Let's get over here. See if we can recover a banner. This can recover a health banner, right? 58. Not pretty, but we didn't waste a team. We get to see the back wall. And if the back wall is scary, at least we will have saved stuff. All right, well, here's that team that they were talking about almost, but Gar Saxon would be replaced then. No, there's Candrus and there's Watt. Okay, but, but still Maul. Here we have Mon Mothma. Do we still have our nest? I feel like we still have Nest, right? We don't even need Kira. We just put Nest in here. Go for some banner efficiency since we threw some banners away up front. And that leaves us in really good shape. I mean, we, we can use our Galactic Legends wherever it makes sense. Get some high banners on that. I think we're in good shape. The team with candy is a lot more uh, intimidating. It sure is. It sure sounds like it. Okay. Kara's animation takes so long. She walks up and then she stands there for like three seconds shooting bullets at your face before she goes back home. The other animation, <laughs> I gotta admit, the other animation that really annoys me is the Sith Eternal with his link animation, where he links two characters. It, it takes like 12 seconds to do both parts of the link because the animation is so slow. I mean, it's typically not relevant in a sea battle, but Having really slow animations like that is pretty annoying. All right, Kira Dune. Let's get over here. She completely missed with those grenades. It wasn't even close. All right, let's get Chirrut out of there again. I almost got uh, almost got Wedge for free that time. Okay. Got to get Jared out of here. Okay. We can take him down now. Get 
Biggs out of here. Get her now. Good. We're good. That's good. Done. Okay. Just had to get things to work out in the right order. So this, we'll take something in against uh, Phoenix is a joke. We don't have to even take seriously. All right. So we got Phoenix and Maul on the back wall. What's the best way to take out these Night Sisters? We can just SLKR this, right? Is there even a reason to bring in another character? A Night Sister team can't solo... I mean, they can't beat a solo SLKR, can they? It can't stun me. You get the Plague on me, that could be pretty annoying, right? But I should be able to manage the zombie, do the sweeps, kill the Night Sisters. I don't feel like I need anything. <clears throat> they can't revive. Yeah, no, they can't revive. <clears throat> do it. All right. We'll do it. We'll do it. SLKR versus Night Sisters. It's all right, zombie. Take that. Take that poke to the face. Wind their damage down. Now we got the plagues going. We should be able to heal up, though, pretty easily. Get the plagues out of there. That's good. They're gone. All right. Oops. I didn't need to target that zombie that time. Oh, Daka. Steel Mastery from Daka. Get her out of here. Uh, take out this. Oh, we got to poke the zombie again. And this is what my life has come to, just poking zombies. All right, come over here. Dodged. We got to get it so we can poke the spirit. Yeah, Night Sister Zombie in the way again. Get out of here. Now we can poke the spirit. All right. Steal some mastery from Asajj. All right, we're done. 68... Poor Kylo, couldn't quite get 69. Uh, we still got Vader left, right? So we can, like, do Sith Eternal up here. To stop us from losing banners on Grievous, we can trooper this. Do we have enough likes to power these troopers, boys and girls? Hit me up with some likes. The troopers always work better when there's plenty likes. Get out your lightsaber. Smash it, slice it, dice it. Get that like button out of here. Get those troopers nice and happy and efficient. JKR it. JKR is gone. She's already done. She took out a bounty hunter team. All right. Let's get over here on him and do this. Link up the Dark Trooper. We're going to target Phasma first. And we're going to annihilate Phasma. 
Dark Trooper is going to just come in with four instances of Dark Trooper. All right, kill the tank. Shoot him. Now we'll come over on Kylo Ren here, take a couple shots at him. That's enough damage, boys. If you're ever wondering if we had enough damage. We got enough damage. 65. Nice, good, clean, shiny banners. All right, then we'll do Sith Eternal here. And once again, I feel like there's really no reason to to bring in any other characters, right? Let's just let's bring this in. The classic JKR, not JTR, JKR. JKR, it, oh, Jedi Knight Revan. Uh, let's see, we'll link him. That'll give us access to Grievous. We'll link Grievous. And then we'll just deceive people. No, we won't deceive people, we'll deceive robots. All of the robots shall be deceived. All right, get some protection back. Keep deceiving people. Robots, keep deceiving robots. Okay, we'll do that. We'll get some protection back again. Okay. Going to the alt. This is actually a C counter. Okay. Should have brought Wat Tambor in, I guess, just to seal the deal. If it was all relics, I would have been more worried, but with all of the gear 12 stuff that was in the team, I didn't feel like they could kill C. So. I think we'll be okay. I don't think this B1 is going to get us. All right. And then here we got uh, everything. We, we've got stuff everywhere. I'm bad with the CLS team, so logic would dictate that this is a team that I can practice some CLS. So we're going to shoot first. We're going to hit probably Sidious so he can't steal banners. Then we'll try to kill Maul and go from there. Got to practice this CLS team. All right. Get him. Okay. Do a big hit over here. Give him the middle skill. Shrug some shoulders. Um, just big area effect damage. We'll pop everybody's debuffs. Call Luke to assist. Do you guys typically call Luke to assist, or who do you usually use that uh, skill on with C-3PO? Is it better to use it on Han or Chewie or somebody like that, or is it best to use it on CLS himself? All right, we've got a Home 1 fleet and a Malevolence fleet with uh, not very impressive ships. Whoever has less stacks of translation... Uh, add it to whoever doesn't have translation. Okay. Okay. Nice. So just pay attention to translation and use that skill to direct the translation onto somebody. Okay. We can do that. I'll do Vader. Um, 
I don't feel like we need any more than this, do we? Just go, go, go. Click it, smash it. Debuff it. Um, 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 um. Let's get Vader into Merciless right away. So we do this. We do this. Then we're going to ability block him. No, we're not. Who am I kidding? We're not going to ability block him. Get over here. Get over here. Get over here. Do this. I'll do that. He's in whistling bird mode. He's in dead mode now. Kilgar Saxon. I'm not sure if we can call him yet. All right, get some banners back, boys. Merciless, call him. 66. 66. Oh, yeah. We lost one banner. We lost one banner, one potential banner. Phoenix, I, I got nothing left to beat these Phoenix guys. Misplayed the Grand Arena all the way down to the last team, and I did not save anything to beat these Phoenix. It's bad. It's a bad deal. I don't know what I'm going to do now. Uh, is there any way to beat these? I don't think so. Galactic Legend Phoenix. <laughs> oh, what's the what's the least amount that we can use to beat these guys? What is the least amount that gets full banners? Got them on Mothma team, but they kind of need stuff. This is probably good enough, right? Does this get... Well, we could do this instead. We could do Bastila in the lead to give the protection up. And then... It, Django Solo. Django Solo. Django Solo would be perfect banners. Can Django Solo those guys? He's going to... He's not going to get... I don't have any... So, so the thing on Django where you recover protection or whatever, I don't have that, do I? Or is that on Boba? What's the thing with Django that recovers protection? I don't know. I don't have the Zetas on Django, though. <clears throat> no Zetas, so no. He gets full protection every kill. No, not without the Zetas, he doesn't. All right, we're going to take Jedi in there. We'll do Bastila lead. We'll do it like this. That's a guaranteed, you know, 67 banners. Is that right? 67? Or, uh, let's see, 65, 67. Yeah, 67 banners. Let's do this. Oof. Let's do this. And kill Ezra Bridger. Bye. Kill Harrison Dula. Wow. That is a chonky Hera, guys. She just stood up to the mass assist from those Jedi. <laughs> I'm impressed. I got to say, I'm impressed. I did not think Hera was going to live through that. Boba needs the Zeta, not Django. He still gets protection with or without the Zeta. Oh, 
Oh, okay. All right, well, we got 67 banners, so... If those two banners are the difference between winning and losing the Grand Arena, then I'll feel sad. But we got a bunch of solos already. We got uh, Kylo Ren Masked. We got uh, Nest. We got... Uh, yeah, we, I, I feel like... I feel like we're in fantastic shape banner-wise. Let's hux it up against this Rebel fleet. That's enough. That's more than we probably ever need. I wonder if he also put his wrong Millennium Falcon in with the with the with the lineup here. Like that last guy put his Rays Falcon in with the <laughs> with the Rebel fleet. Whoopsie. All right. That says Han Solo. He gets a dis uh, a big uh, missile to the face. He gets stunned. I'll pull an assist. Kill him. Pass it over. Let's just do a big hit. I usually stun, but I decided to just do a big hit there instead. All right, steal turn meter from him. Hit, get advantage, pass it over, big hit. He's done. Yeah. You got to like it. All right, here we go. Get rid of buffs, call an assist. Is it enough? It is not enough. It's never enough. 72 banners. 72, boys and girls. That. That looks nice. I like that. Uh, let's see. Uh, is there any chance that we'll go this far? Probably not, but there it is. You know what? We should bring in Plo as banner recovery. <laughs> Nabokov says, oh, these fleets. <laughs> yeah. Not good on the fleets. All right, there we go. Get a little guy, do a little dance. Sing a little song, get down tonight. All right. Stun him. Uh, he returned the favor. Uh, let's see. Let's just do that. Get some damage down on him. We can remove some buzz droids. It's not ideal. We should probably have waited until the hyena bomber put it on everybody. I think we're okay, though. Now we got buzz droids everywhere. Get buzz droids on him. Let's take the buzz droids off of Sunfac. That's good. Uh, we don't really want to do this, but I'm in a position where I can potentially save protection and get massive banners. Nope. He's going to do the area effect and cost me banners. 68. Good enough, though, right? 1743. Look at that. I think that's the highest score I've had or seen. <laughs> we had the 1730. Our opponent got 1730 against us when we played against that was-was guy. 1743. That's pretty good. Alrighty, guys, we got any other last-minute questions, comments, things we want to know before I sign off the stream for today? Went pretty quickly. We did uh, two Grand Arenas in pretty short order. Of course, that happens when your opponents don't put down complicated defenses. It's easier to work through. But uh, 
Yeah, so we, we, we made it through in record time. <laughs> Perfect score. Nice work, says Nabokov. Nice. <laughs> Mata McCurry says, now that's a lot of banners. <laughs> Three GACs. Yeah, don't forget the hyperdrive account. Well, same thing there. He auto deployed and made it fast. But uh, yeah, so good. I think uh, I think we'll get the win on both of the Lokwitter account and the main account. Both um, have had one loss, so I'm at ten and one if this goes according to plan. And then hopefully, you know, tomorrow we play and go eleven and one. That won't be too bad. Some Inquisitors out there are 11 and 0. I've seen it. I've seen it posted over in the Discord. So you guys are doing fantastic. Monf Monfimo says, I missed your message about an account review uh, months ago. Should I reapply? Uh, you need to check and make sure because if I flagged you for an account review, I probably did it when I flagged you. It's probably in the stream. Um, I don't wait for people to respond before I do the account review. I, I ping you, and if you, you're in there, that's cool. And if you're not, I, I still usually do the account review anyway. So I would say go check. Make sure you check those old streams um, because it, probably, it was probably done. It's probably done. If, it, uh, if you can't find it, you know, hit me up over on Discord, and I'll see if I can maybe go back and, and find it myself. You have to help me with your in-game name and all that, though, because uh, I have to know how to look for you. Apologies says I'm 10-1. and 1. Nice. Nice. You guys rock. <laughs> Inquisitors rock. Man, I'm telling you. Uh, we... The... the just a few simple things, right? You get your fleet right. You do your, uh, you do your account building in a reasonable way, and build mods. Really, if you do fleet and you do mods, you, you already beat like 50% of the people that play Grand Arena. <laughs> That's my opinion. Alrighty, folks. Remember the competition, please, 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 everybody. Send people over to my channel. Send them over. You know, go in your guild Discord and tell people to come over and take a look at the mod series or the How to Relic video. You know, anything that you think might help your guild, help people, whatever. Send them over to get me more subscribers. Let's get that competition rocking. Let's get those subscribers racked up so that I got to pay out all kinds of gift cards. Uh, help me out with that, guys. I would really appreciate it. Subscribe yourself if you haven't done that already. Notifications to watch more streams like this in the future. And uh, hit the like button on the way out if you haven't done that already. Helps me, helps the channel, and I appreciate it. All right, guys, thank you all for watching. And I will certainly see you in the next Holocron. <laughs>